Hello everyone, I'm your host Spectre and I'm here to bring you Skulls of the Shogun Bonafide Edition. A nice little play on words there. Now, Skull of the Shogun is a turn-based tactics game developed by 17-Bit, which is a development company out here in Los Angeles. The game was inspired by Advance Wars, which is a great little turn-based game for the Game Boy Advance, 3DS, and all that. I love that. Now, except this one, instead of playing soldiers, you play as an undead samurai, which is always a good, good theme to go on. Who doesn't like undead? Who doesn't like samurais? Now, originally, it was released back in 2012 for the Xbox Live, so it's been around for a good three years, and it's pretty much just been an Xbox and a Windows game. I played it for the PC originally, and it feels exactly the same, except for the controller, and they were able to use it properly, and I'm glad uh, how it all turned out. So in 2013, it got released on Steam. So about like a year, six months later, it got released to that to Steam. So Steam picked it up. And it was also in 2014 released on the Ouya. Yeah, that's a weird device. It's interesting but weird. And then like I said recently, it just became onto the PlayStation 4 for free. So pick it up. Why not? Alright, so it was, like I said, it was developed by 17-Bit, and it was published by Microsoft Studios, hence why I went to Xbox before it came to anything else. But I'm glad it finally did come to the other systems, because it's a game everyone would enjoy, it's really fun. It challenges you later on in the game, so, you know, it's always good. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, you play as General Akamoto, and pretty much storyline is you're in a battle and you're about to become or you're pretty much next in line to become Shogun or battling to become Shogun but then you get struck down and then your people saying or the undead samurais are saying how you are the imposter and so now you need to go around and prove yourself all right so Metacritic gave it a score of 72 and with the user score 6.7 out of 10. I believe this game deserves a lot more, at least an 80%. Because it's a fun tactics game, it looks good, doesn't take itself too seriously, and it's funny, it's got really good dialogue, and it has a lot to offer for new players, and also people who've been around the turn-based game for a while. Like I said before, this game it doesn't really take itself too seriously, but that's what makes it so great. It makes it funny. Um, the gameplay is easy to pick up. Like I could go disappear for a couple of weeks and play a different game. Then pick this game up and be able to play it. Because you know the tutorial is right there for you. It has all the controls in the bottom. You can just pick it up. And you have a whole like four controls you need to do. So it's not that hard. If anything you might forget the storyline. But that's not really too important. On a little side note. This game also came out for the iOS and Android devices, so if you feel like picking up this game and playing on the go, there's your perfect opportunity.
Thank mm -hmm. you.
Okay, so now that they're end of the first level, you can actually come back and play previous levels to get a higher score, gain more experience, and get about, like, you get a rating of three golden skulls. And as you complete these missions and levels, you can get these emblems, which you can use to put on to kind of like represent who you are. So that's kind of a cool um, reason to come back and play levels again. Alright, so that has been about the first 15 minutes of Skulls of the Shogun. If you like it, please like and subscribe. Any little bit helps. And I'll see you all next time. Spectre out.